I like gold. Yes, the beautiful gold-plated, well, it's paint, but, I mean, it still looks flippin' awesome. Blasters that were given out as part of the X-Shot League kind of promo for, for the X-Shot Chaos Meteor and Orbit here. And these are flippin' amazing blasters that were unique to, well, people in the X-Shot League, like me and other reviewers and a whole bunch of other people. I'm sure I actually don't know how many of these are out there, but... They're special to me, man. I mean, look at them. They're, they were they were unique at the time. And, uh, well, enough of you wanted them. And it was going to be cool because it's going to be like, <laughs> I got something you don't. And then they, they, they went and made a, they made a set for you guys. That is arguably cooler. So now my special toys are not nearly as special. Take a look at the X-Shot Meteor Royal Edition pack. $30 at your local Target. This was picked up for me by one Dr. Flux. Thank you so very, very much, sir. Now, I'm not sure if these differ from any real way from the original Meteors, but I will do a full review of them anyway, because these ones are gold. And the Meteor is a really cool-looking rival-esque pistol. This is part of their X-Shot Chaos line, which is their answer to nerf Rival. It offers similar performance marks and everything, and it's uh really really freaking cool looking shells like for no joking the the meteor is one of the best looking pistols in the entire hobby and now instead of just being one unbroken thing of gold we get gold with another blue color here which already has details put on it and it looks so good it looks so freaking good like like seriously is there anybody down in the comment section that can convince me these things don't look absolutely amazing Let's open it up. I will note that on the back of the box, it doesn't really show anything else. However, they are making a gold orbit in the exact same line. So if you want a complete collection, holy crap, that thing looks really freaking cool. Pen, shin, cast, off, change, beetle, clock, uh, uh, I would be really ecstatic about how comfortable these things are. And I still really am because they're very, very comfortable. But I've, I've held these blasters before because again, they are entirely reshells of the meteor the detail work and everything appears to only be on one side of the blaster but if i'm lucky there should be a sticker sheet in here to put some on the other side of the blaster so let's keep hoping that's in there and look at that not one but two beautiful decal sheets to customize your blaster that costs some pretty much nothing and is way better than paint just have Two different or three different shades of molded plastic on there and sticker sheets has bro has bro stickers are not a bad thing i say that because you know i build models and whatnot like gunpla and uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stickers in those i love it when i can just pull out the ammo like that without any crazy stupid tape or anything like that i don't know why some companies can do that and others can't so yes, the rounds are very, very similar to Rival. They're the same diameter and everything. And we will test these blasters with both types of ammo, but hey, 24 rounds, two pistols, 30 bucks. It's not bad, especially when they're gold. So the Meteor is a six round pistol. And you may be wondering how exactly do you load six rounds into this thing? And there's actually a hidden little lever here that controls a magazine follower. But the cool thing about it is the follower has a hole in it. So you can actually just kind of push rounds through the fall so you can kind of just push rounds through the follower until there's six in there and then make sure you push them all the way up come on there we go prime it and fire it god that's a comfy pistol seriously and then when she's out you repeat the process again Pistols only hold six rounds, comes with 24 rounds. That's two reloads for both pistols. And I think I just crammed seven in there. And not only does that look really awesome. Yep, let's chronograph it. 
The side of the blaster claims 100 FPS. Let's see how legit that is. 88. 77. 94. 96. 85. 83. 93. 92. 93. Not quite the 100 that's on the box, unfortunately, but it is reasonably close. And just a quick test with original rival rounds. 96. 95. 96. 100, there we go, with an original rival round. 101. 97.7. So it can hit 100 FPS with official rival rounds not the included x shot chaos rounds that's a that's a little bit different but let's see if there's an accuracy and range difference between the two different types of rounds shall we i just realized how much of a nightmare these things are going to be all the film outside in direct sunlight all right look at how oh my goodness look at that whoa all right Six rounds, flat, with the included X-Shot ammo. That's about elite range. Going pretty straight. And now six shots, but we'll be doing it with a slight angle. See how far we can get. There we go. Let's we'll probably do a little bit more, actually. Well, that's about the optimal angle. There we go. That one sailed past rival range. There we go. Yeah, that one kind of curved down, but the accuracy is to be commended. It's doing pretty good, not deviating too much. That's acceptable. And now we'll be doing some angle shots with standard nerf rival and see if the distances and accuracy changes at all. Well, that was a little bit hotter, I'd say. Yep. Yeah, that's a bit better. Ooh, makes a satisfying pop sound. And looks like we're out. That is, it works a lot better with standard rival. That's a little bit unfortunate, but at least the ammo is perfectly usable. In fact, what you get from standard nerf rival is, is really only a minor improvement at that. It's, it's not a whole lot to worry about. Well, unsurprisingly, not a whole lot has changed for the Zuru Chaos Meteor in its Gold Requiem form. And I gotta say, I still love this blaster. It's extremely comfortable. I like the unique loading mechanism, even if it isn't the most... Well, actually, I was gonna say if it's not the most practical thing, but to be perfectly honest, you can load this thing up so flippin' fast. The only issue I have, and this seems to be a reoccurring one, is... If I do load six rounds into this thing half the time, the follower does not go back up. And on top of that, the thing tends to spill rounds out, even if I've made sure the little hook in there has been agitated. I'm not quite sure why. I don't remember having that problem with my original one. This one has been doing it to me quite a bit, but that might just be me. To be safe, I just load five rounds and I'd be equally as happy because that's enough ammo for me. And that's about what a normal nerf Kronos or anything holds. So really, can I fault anything about this? If you're looking at this review, it's because you either have never seen this boss before and want one, or you want the gold version, and I'm here to tell you that the gold version is really freaking good. Might be a little bit hard to see, but you can see on the edges right there where, like, in the screw posts and stuff like that, you can see the original color of the slide peeking through, which was apparently orange, which is a good backdrop for a gold, because that just, if it does happen to scratch down, it'll just go down to orange and that also helps make it pop out a little bit more so everybody kind of wins on that one but they had a pretty good attention to detail while the underside of the door isn't colored gold the rest of it is and it really does look as good as you think it would and for 30 dollars for two of them plus 24 rounds really it's about the price of a normal x-shot chaos meteor i still have no clue what this little switch is for it's supposed to agitate you can kind of see it moves something in the magazine well, but I honestly, I don't think there's an attachment or anything out for this blaster yet, so there may be good news for this blaster in the future, and 
Well, are these things going to be hard to get after a while? I don't know if they're a Target exclusive. It doesn't say so on the box, but honestly, everybody's got to have at least a couple of blasters like this. This is way better gold than I think I could ever paint. And I've watched a lot of videos on how to do like candy coat painting for, you know, Gundam models and stuff like that. This is, oh, this is really nice. I can see my reflection in it. And it's a pretty capable little sidearm that you can put a little bit of a spring upgrade into in it and get a little bit more power, and it's completely compatible with Nerf Rival Rounds, so... Really? It's... Do you want a gold blaster? I really like the fact that the gold is on these certain pieces, and then there's blue on this, so if you wanted to paint it all a completely different color, so you could have gold with pink or gold with black or something to make it really pop out, this is the blaster to do it. Do it to one of these big boys and I'd want to punch you in the face because this thing, you'd have to sand it down and paint it, which would be absolutely criminal at this point. I, I still really like this one, but you can kind of tell the color separation makes this one look a heck of a lot cooler. So do I recommend it? Well, if you're looking for a rival pistol that's capable, has a fun reloading mechanism, is reasonably accurate, reasonably powerful, a little big, it's about the same size of a Kronos, but you do have the magazine that goes down right there, which may make it slightly harder to holster. All really minor things. It's a completely serviceable pistol. I think it's extremely comfortable and cool looking. And now it comes in gold. And I definitely want to take one of these and paint it into a different color, at least the non-gold pieces, because that just looks so awesome. Once again, I'd like to thank Dr. Flux for dropping these off for me. I really appreciate it because I wanted to get my hands on them since I already had the original gold ones and I wanted to do a comparison. And of course, I can't wait to get my hands on the Orbit. So join me next time when we'll be taking a look at... Uh, I got a Busby Slingshot or I've got a Nerf Elite 2.0 Blaster. You let me know what one you want to see because at this point I really don't know what I want to dig into at the moment. But of course, I'm Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course... I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta 